Yeah, uh, people ask about the car. I don't. I guess. I guess when you're a doctor, you're supposed to drive like a like a BMW or a Lexus or something. I don't know. The Corolla is the Corolla is fine with me. Um, plus, I don't actually I don't actually take any money from the practice. Uh, my dad left me with more than enough money when he passed away, and uh, and the office needs it. Uh, well, this is it. I'm either pretty much here at the office, so uh, it's pretty much. Some people say it's small, and I don't really, I think it's perfect. Especially in Florida, you need a smaller place for the AC bill. Um, let me see. Oh, this is the kitchen. This is where I do, I make all of Olivia's very fantastic recipes. Um, let me see the other day. Uh, lemon pepper chicken. <laughs> lemon and pepper, one dish. She comes up with some extraordinary things. So Doug, I know you might be wondering why we called you back in so quickly. Uh, we did get those test results back that we took last week, and we cannot find any traces of the cancer. You're, you're in remission. So this is not a conventional practice. I am not what you would call a medically trained doctor. My name is Tom Davis, and for the last two years we have specialized in bringing joy into the world. By taking something away from our patients, such as the rest of their lives, they get to reflect, uh, see what they've been taking for granted, and then they get their lives back. Like Doug in there. He just got his life back. Unfortunately, we did not catch it at a, uh, an effective point to start treatment. There are things we can do, and we're going to do everything we can to help you get through this. We're going to do everything we can, and, and I'll be here 24-7. Anything you need, I'll be here. You're going to be completely okay. Yeah, we can. We are a fully functioning doctor's practice, though. We treat our patients for colds, uh, injuries, illnesses. We write prescriptions. We give consultations. But we specialize in the diagnosis and treatment of non-present, uh, non-existent terminal illness. You see, Doug has been a patient of mine for several months. Uh, he's not in the best shape, he has high cholesterol, and he's having problems at home. Something like this diagnosis can really bring the family together. His wife forgets about all their problems. His son starts spending more time with him. We are able to give our patients all the benefits of a crisis without any of the risks. As a fully functioning doctor's practice, we see an average of about 10 to 12 patients every day. And this is our receptionist, Olivia. She does all the appointments, as well as the day-to-day -day stuff. And she is also an aspiring chef. Isn't that right? Yeah, I am. She's going to open up her own restaurant one day. Ah, uh, she has a blog. It's a WordPress called Let's Eat. It's a, it's a Tumblr, Tom. Well, I try all of her recipes at home. And uh, i got to be honest, I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. Oh. Yeah, it's a pretty cool job. Um, I see a lot of interesting things and uh, oh about once a month I ask Tom for a raise and he gives it to me so that's a pretty big plus. And here we have our break room where staff will congregate in their downtime. A lot of snacks and a little bit of gossip. Ah, there's Fez, one of our nurses. Now our nurses are not all traditionally medically trained but they have each underwent our <coughs> training program which, which in ensures a maximum <coughs> commitment and capability to this, to this we are not a conventional practice. No, I'm not how no, you would that's, say. That's, that's, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, Fez was actually our, our first hire at nurse. Oh, you're you're not a nurse? No, no. Huh. I just uh, I guess I just figured with the scrubs. Oh, because because uh, that's because you got to dress for the job. You you dress for what you going. Not much here. Did you? So you did not uh, finish high school? High school, no. Uh, you know, I gave it my all, and uh, honestly, uh, it's a lot of bad memories. I'd rather not talk about it. So if we can move on, that'd be great. Hey, uh, that's not that important. You know, high school is not. It's a rough time for a lot of kids. Um, I'm not a kid, so. Uh oh. Uh oh. We have a treat for you. This is one of our nurses, Sean. He is a real killer with the ladies. A lot of girlfriends, a lot of girlfriends. Yeah, cool. Yeah. 
You gotta tell me. Sean, one secret. Please. Please. Oh, he's killing me. I, um, I spent about 32 weeks in nursing school, and I figured that was enough for me. You know, how much more can you learn? Uh, but I still wanted to be a nurse, and this is the only place that would hire me. You know, I'm doing all right. You know, look at me now. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good. But, uh, you know, there's just too much reading. Oh, my blue scrubs. I, uh, I only wear blue, only this blue, because it really brings out my eyes. You know what I mean? No, we do need to uh, make payments, pay rent, salaries, and stuff. And that's all possible because of Matt. Uh, he also does what might be our most important job, protecting our employees. Yeah. There's absolutely nothing linking our employees to this practice whatsoever. Matt, why don't you, uh, why don't you tell them about what, I, you, what you do? I don't do anything. Okay, okay. So here's, no. um, here's a uh, bank statement from one of the fraudulent... <clears throat> Anyways, this is one of the bank statements from one of the fraudulent accounts. Ah, okay. Here is the last nurse you need to meet. This is Marie. Uh, she was actually a patient of ours, and we just fell in love with her. Had to have her around for good. Oh, of course, and I love it here. You are the best. Oh, Tom, stop it. Why, who wouldn't love to work here? He, Tom makes us laugh every day. Oh, like, no. Like, like Patch up. No. Oh my God, tell them the one about the car. No! Why not? No, Tell them the not on camera. No. Oh my god, it's so funny though. Trust me, this is awesome. Tell, go ahead, do it. Me do this. Come on, Tom. All right, so it's I'm in this fun. car. I'm in this car, and I'm with my buddy Fred, and we're going to get a cup of coffee. We, you know, we want to chat. And he says he, he he leans over, and there's this thing he always does, you know. And he leans over, and he goes, "I was a patient here, and one day I was telling Tom about how my husband lost his job." and he was kind enough to offer me a nursing position. It was definitely surprising to find out he's not a real doctor. <laughs> but, but it's okay. Oh, here is uh, Austin. This is Austin. He is, uh, he is our high school volunteer, and he is one of the brightest young men in the state. Austin, it's just a microphone, okay? Um, so Matt is going to work something out with you. He's going to get credit for this whole semester, uh, I think, right? Uh, yes, um, I get out of class awesome, early. Awesome. You can just, just right into the camera. Just act like um, not even there. I get out of class early on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Lucky young man, huh? You can tell this kid has got poise. That's what I love about him. And you can tell one day he is going to be a catch, a real catch. Just disregard the microphones. You got your eye on any of our young ladies in the office, Austin? Oh, doesn't want to spill a secret. Don't, don't spill the beans, huh? I gotcha, I gotcha. I was young too once. Oh, we have a special treat for you today, though. Huh? You are going to help me with Mr. Phillips, one of the patients. Wait, what? Yeah, no, come on. It'll be a great time. Hey, Glenn. How are you today? Good. How you doing, Doc? I'm doing fantastic. Good to see you. How is everybody? Stacy and Jimmy, what's he in? Fourth grade now? Yeah, fourth grade. He's doing ah, real good. That's fantastic. And Stacy, um, sh she's good. Okay. Um, she's actually staying with her parents right now. Well, I'm very sorry to hear that. It's okay. Okay. Um, this is Austin. He's uh, volunteering with us. He's going to be helping me out a little bit today. Um, Austin, why don't we go ahead and get Mr. Phillips started with taking... Austin. Well, uh, Mom says that I need to get out of the house more, that I'm, I'm not involved with more things. She's, you know, get out of here. Get out. Get out, boy. And she says that I'm playing too many video games, that, that I'm living in a fantasy land, a, wor a fantasy world. She said that to me. Can you, can you believe that? Well, the, uh, the point of this process is basically to bring joy into the world. Um, unfortunately, we only have uh, uh, candidates for our process every couple weeks, maybe a month. Uh, a vast majority of our, of, our, uh, of our patients don't need the process. So what we do with them is we try to help them out every day. We, we may have a specialty, but we're also just a doctor's office. We treat people for colds, uh, injuries, anything that they can come to us with. We'll, we'll try to help as best we can. Hey, who's next? Um, Nathan Myers. No, I'm not going to do that one. Give me Rachel. Come on. You know you can't do that. Uh, Rachel? 
Rachel. Oh, is, is that an iPhone? Yeah. That's cool, yeah. I, I got one too. That's good. Yeah, but sometimes like I'll forget to charge it and it just dies. Uh, do you need a charger? I have one here. Oh, no, no, no. Like it, it should be good right now, but you know, just saying it happened one time. Thanks. Morning. Morning. Good morning. You guys are late. Late for what? I don't know if the, uh, the doctor has told you, but uh, sometimes some of our staff likes to, to come in late. Just a fun little thing they like to do. You see this? He just throws this bag anywhere. Just, just treats it like some sort of play area. Are you, uh, can be able to get everything ready? Oh, have you seen uh, Matt yet? Yeah, he came in through the back today. The back? Yeah, I don't know. All right. Hey, who do we got coming in today? Here you go. All right, give me Sarah Jessica and Brittany, and then give Fez and Marie the rest. No. Oh, you no, can't no. Do that. You can't do that. That's. You're just taking all the girls. You think I didn't know? You think I'm some idiot? Huh? No. <laughs> Come it's... on, man. Just give me them. No, it's just whatever you want. Huh? Let's do whatever Sean wants, huh? No, no, we don't care. It's just, oh, yeah. No, no more, huh? We're taking a stand, huh? We're taking a stand. Oh my God, man. What are you talking about? Dude, no, that's it. I'm getting some of the girls. What, what do you, why do you even want them? What are you gonna do with them? I'm gonna try to have sex with them. What are you gonna do with them? What? Just tell them they're dying. What? What? Why are you like this? Sh shut up, man. I'm I'm getting I'm getting some of the girls, okay? That's it. Matt, we really gotta figure this tax thing out. Okay, Tom. I don't know if uh, if we need to refile it or or redo it. Oh, wait, are you You're using TurboTax for this? Am I? TurboTax. My friend Sandy uses TurboTax. She says it's 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 the easy. Okay. It's it's super easy sure. to use. Wait, have you met Sandy? Have I met you guys? I'll you guys would love it. You guys both I'll like do, the. I'll do it, Tom. Great. That's not how it works, Sean. And you should probably know that, right? Huh? Who here went to nursing uh, school, huh? Was it you or me? Because I think it was me. You were there for what one semester? Oh, that's great, right? That's a lot. Yeah, you learned I, a lot. Yeah, I learned. I can take people's temperatures now. Hey, okay. Uh, all right. Guys. Let's calm down. Calm down. What is the matter? He's taking all the girl patients, and he's trying to have sex with them. <laughs> Whoa! Cool. All right, just make uh, make sure they're not here for anything, you know, like uh, herpes, <laughs> right? Or, or AIDS. Don't get AIDS, Sean. Um, all right, how many uh, girl patients are coming in? Three. Okay, so let's just divvy them up. That's, Everybody gets one? That's fine with I don't even need my girl patient. Like, you guys, I'm not gonna try to have sex with them. Yeah, that's fine, I'll take hers. I'll just take hers. Whatever, man. It's not like you're gonna have sex with them anyways. <gasps> okay, yeah, sure. I'm not gonna have sex with them anyways. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go this way too, right? <laughs> That's bullshit, dude. Hey, Jessica. Uh, my name is Sean. I'll Hello. be taking care of you today. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get started by taking your pulse. So if I could just go ahead and oh, grab your uh, yeah. wrist real quick. Hi, Sarah. Uh, I am Fez. I'm gonna be taking care of you today. Hey. Uh, and um, and how are you? Do how are you doing? How are you today? Oh, I'm I'm fine. Uh, how are you? How are you? <laughs> okay. Um, and, and what are you? What are you doing here? Well, I I oh I just need to get my prescription refilled. Okay. Uh, well. So uh, where do you work? Oh, I work in a beauty salon, actually. Oh, what? That's really cool. <laughs> yeah, maybe you can cut my hair sometime. So I saw on your uh, your chart you're you're in a you're single. You're not like in a relationship or anything. Oh, I I have a boyfriend. Oh, yeah, that's. But it's like it's not like a, an exclusive thing. You guys can just do, can just do whatever you want. Oh <laughs> no, it's exclusive. Oh, okay. Well, that's. Are, are are you taking my pulse? I'm counting my head. Oh. 
What does he, what does he look like? Look, look like me? Um, yeah. no. Yeah, actually, I learned this technique out over in Thailand. I went there for a summer. It was really cool. I met a lot of great people. Wow, Thailand? That sounds amazing. Yeah, it was. I'm so jealous. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you're free tonight, we could talk about it over some drinks. That sounds great. Uh, I, I really think my pulse is fine. You look like a TV. What? I mean, what? I mean, you, I mean, you look like you could be on TV. Oh, um... Thank you. What kind of mo what movies do you want to watch with me? What kind of movies do you like? I, I really just need my prescription, so if I could... It's, it's not for herpes, is it? What? It's just a joke I came up with. Just, I just came up with it. Right I, don't, I don't have herpes. This is a funny joke. It's funny. Okay. Hey, who's next? Uh, Nick Feeney. All right. Hi. All right. Uh, Nick. Nick? Hi, Nick. Uh, okay. Hi, uh, Nick Feeney? Hi. Yeah. Hi, we're, we're ready for you. Okay. If I can grab your arm real quick. Thank you. So, uh, how, how'd you hear about us? Huh? Uh, just a friend. Oh, really? Who, who was it? I, Kyle. Please. Okay. Um. Hi, Nick. How are you? Tom Davis. Hi. Nice to meet you. Well, on a uh, first visit, I like to introduce myself, tell you a little bit about the practice. Uh, my name is Tom Davis, and we've been running for about two years now, so it's a fairly new practice, but I am a very hands-on doctor. I want to make sure every patient gets a very comfortable, intimate uh, experience here. Also, I want you to have this. Here's my card. You can call me anytime, day, night. I will be here. Great. So, Nick, tell me a little bit about what you do. I input statistics at a research lab. Oh, wow. What kind of uh, research do you do? Uh, I'm not really sure. Oh, just new place, kind of feeling your way around? No, I've been there for a while. Oh. Okay. Um, well, uh, blood pressure and everything looks good. Uh, See you later. Oh, there's Matt. Hey, Matt. Hey, buddy. Where you, where are you going? Matt. 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 Roll on, roll on your window. Matt, hey, hey, where are you uh, headed? I don't feel good, Tom. I'm going home. Oh, okay. Oh, he's a little sick. Okay. Um, do you need me to eat any soup I'm, or anything? Tom, I'm fine. I, I can stop go. by later. I gotta go. I'm fine. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Tom. See you tomorrow, Matt. Austin is a nice little kid. He brings me coffee. He will always like do favors for me. It's really nice. It's, it's like having an assistant. Austin, why, what are you doing? I've got coffee breath. I don't want to breathe on you. Hey, but anyway, I got, I won these two tickets to this French movie tonight. And it's going to be really romantic, really cool, everything. That's cool. So, I was wondering if maybe you'd want to go with me. Oh, tonight? Yeah. I can't tonight. I'm sorry. I have plans. Oh, it's not even. I don't, it's not even a big deal. I'll get my f my friend Ricky. I won them. I didn't buy them. So, I don't, I don't even care. Well, uh, tell me how it is, and thanks for the coffee. It's really nice. Yeah, just you know, any, any time. No, this is not coffee. I don't like coffee. It tastes like dirt. I tell them to just fill a coffee cup with water, so that way everybody thinks that I'm drinking coffee. But you know, I'm staying hydrated, and I don't even get sleepy anyway. So it's like water. But turns out the audition was for America's Best Dance Crew. I do not have a crew. 
I did not bring a crew. I do not know how to dance. So I went home. Hey, can you sign this? Anything else? Sign anything else? That's it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. For season seven, I have not forgotten. I have made all of the proper arrangements. Yeah. Uh, um, do you remember, do you remember Nick Feeney? Yeah, kind of weird guy a couple, a couple days ago. I, I think he's depressed. Okay, that, that makes sense. Um, all right. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell Olivia we're gonna just start him on the system. Got it. Consider his last visit, visit stage one, and then we'll just break the news next week, okay? Okay. Uh, what were you talking to the camera about? Uh, just, you know, just stuff. Daily, daily things. Don't, don't talk to the camera. Why not? Just listen to me, okay? Sometimes with these special cases, we like to expedite the process a little bit. Uh, Nick Feeney is pretty much an ideal candidate. Uh, we're gonna be able to just help him so much. Like, the, Nick, now, to Nick at the end of the process, it'll be a night and day difference. We're really gonna change his whole outlook on the world. Actually, I was thinking, uh, since Nick is pretty much like the perfect candidate, you guys might wanna go try to get more footage of him somewhere, because I, I, I don't think we'll get a, like a better example in the next couple, couple weeks. Now what you have exactly is adenocarcinoma and it's stage two, which means it's spread from your lungs to the nearby lymph nodes. I, I don't understand, I'm only 26, I don't even smoke. It's actually called non-small cell lung cancer and it's not caused by smoking. Now I know this is a lot to throw at you at once. I want you to take as much time as you need. Specifically what you have is what we call adenocarcinoma. Um, and right now it's in stage three, which means that the cancer is spread from your lungs to your nearby lymph nodes. What? That's, a, that's exactly what you just told me. Do I have hey, cancer? Hi, I'm or not? Hi, uh, Jeremy Sanders. Hi. Hi, I'm Fez. I'm a nurse here. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, there's been a terrible clerical error. What? Some, Wait, uh, some, what, what the hell's going on right now? Some files right. were mixed up. And some, uh, so, some, some, I must have gotten a mis uh, another file by mistake. I'm so sorry. If, if, could, could you maybe, could you go back to your we're room? We're going to get you back in your room and, and then, we're, uh, the doctor will be right in. First of all, you do not have cancer. We mix up your patient file with another patient file. You do not have cancer. You are perfectly healthy. This is insane. I, I thought I was going to die. I am so sorry. I, 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 I understand this mistake is one of the worst we can make. I promise you there will be repercussions. All right, guys. Um, the reason we're here is because we had a little bit of a mix-up today. Uh, we had to tell Jeremy Sanders that he did not have cancer. <sighs> so, um, Sean, where are we with Steven? He's great. He thinks he's dying. Thank God. All right. Um, guys, remember when you're handling a patient, close the door. Also, we need to start mixing up the diseases, people. Not everybody can have lung cancer. There's plenty of different cancers out there. There's, there's throat cancer. There's uh, pancreatic cancer. S skin cancer. S good. Yes. Skin cancer. Okay. Liver cancer. Great. Awesome. Yes. Fantastic. Awesome. Ass cancer. Colon cancer. That is a cancer. What about dick cancer? All right, Sean. Just... Hey, maybe you should take this a little more seriously. Hmm? We're here because of you. Yeah, okay, guys, just calm down. All right? Marie told a guy he had the same cancer from Breaking Bad. Hey, I just... Okay, w well, that is a real cancer, Sean. Have you ever seen the show? The guy almost died. Okay, all right. Breaking Bad cancer, that is a cancer. That is fine. Uh, let's just try to mix it up. That's just why we're here. Let's... Of course, I'm sorry. 
Let's just mix up the different- Okay, but we wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for him. This is bullshit. Do you hear that? I called you bullshit. He has no respect for what we do here. I'm not calling him bullshit, you idiot. I'm calling this bullshit, this whole thing. I'm calling you an idiot. Bottom line is, he's not following the video. He's not following the guidelines set out in the video. I'm not gonna follow that fucking stupid video. Excuse me? I'm... I was talking to him? If you could... We're all following the video. All of us. Except for Sean. Yeah, of course you're following it. You made it. I would just like to say I never approved this video. You have cancer. What? All right, guys, thank you for- What? Are you, are you gonna fire him? What? We, 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 we will see, okay? Let's just, uh, let's just get back to work. Um, the meeting did not, did not go well. It, it went terrible, actually. Um, I got this new shirt and Olivia did not even respond to it. I think it was, the complexity of the pattern was too much. And so instead I have this backup of plain green. Um, it's got two buttons, and I th th this one has like six or seven, which I think was throwing Olivia off. So, imagine me wearing this shirt, and I think I look good. And I also think that Olivia will love it. Hi, can I uh, help you? Yeah, hi, I'm just here for Olivia. Oh, oh hey Richie, I'll be right there. Richie, hi, I'm Austin. Austin, Richie, nice to meet you, man. Yeah, so we work out. Uh, you know, when I'm not being lazy. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh! Muhammad Ali! How you hey. doing? Tom. Richie, nice, nice to, meet to meet you. Man, so what are you, uh, Olivia's boyfriend or something? Um. No, no. Yeah. nobody said boyfriend. Nobody. Richie, I'm Muscle, I'm Marie. <laughs> Richie, where do, you, where do you work? Uh, I actually work at Best Buy. Oh, okay. Best Buy. We gotta get this guy doing night security for us. Richie, Man, yeah. nobody oh, will touch yeah. this building. You know, you look, you look uh, a lot like my grandpa used to look like. Oh, just like it. Okay. Old. Thanks. Were you from Boston, huh? Boston, Philly? No. Huh? No. Okay. All right. So you wanna get going? Yeah. You know, Richie. Man, you just, you just look just like him. Okay, let's Re go. Real quick, what, what do you max at? I just gotta know. I just gotta know. Fine. I just, uh, you know, it, I don't know. I don't really keep Any sort of like regiment? Any sort of like routine? It, it changes each day, you know? Okay. This fucking ugly guy. Are you kidding me? I mean, what does he do all day? Can he, can he write her poetry? Can he, does he know what a haiku is? Can he sing to her? Hey, uh, hey, Sh Sean, how was your sex last night? It was pretty good, man. How's being a weird fucking freak? Do you think Tom's gonna fire you? No, I don't care. Tom's not gonna fire you. I don't know, I've never seen him that mad before. Yeah, but like he's never serious when he's mad. Yeah, I guess you're right. Totally. Check it out, I drew a lion. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, Sean. How, uh, how, I bet, how, how old is she? I bet she was like... 29. Like 60. All right, we are gonna try one of Olivia's recipes. Yeah, see, a lot of the times Olivia will put, throw in a lot of ingredients that uh, I, I don't really have here. All right, see, a half cup butter. Well, love pepper. Pepper's on everything. I honestly just, I end up using pepper on almost every single meal. Um, okay, a third cup pesto. Well, I'll use the, I'll use the garlic. Okay. Yeah. 
I can definitely see what Olivia is going for here. Uh, my father was a doctor, uh, and he, he died a few years ago. He, uh, he died of an untreatable illness, um, uh, pancreatic uh, cancer. Are you guys sure you don't want, I can, I can whip up another bowl. Matt. No, Matthew? No. Hey, Olivia wants the new list of insurance carriers we accept. Why? It's the same. It hasn't changed. I know. Yeah, I, that's what I keep telling her. She wants them, though. Matt told me to give you the updated list of insurance carriers we oh, accept. It changes? I don't know. He just told me to give it to you. As you check. Tom, I'm out of same. singles. Just get it from Matt. No, go away. Go, go away. Matt, I need just, more staples. Just, I don't have any more staples. We're out of fucking staples, okay? Jesus Christ. Okay, well, can I have some money to go get some more? Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. Um, all the money from Matt's office is gone. $5,000. Yeah, $5,000. It's completely gone. Is he sure? Is he absolutely yes, sure? Yes, he's sure. Well, who would have stolen from us? We all, we all work together. Well... Uh... <sighs> Sean thought he was getting fired. Hold on, hold on. We don't know it was Sean. Maybe, maybe we were robbed. Are there uh, any, any signs of forced entry? I don't know, I'll check the door. No, whoever did it must have had a key. <sighs> it could have been Matt. It's not Matt. How do we know it wasn't Matt? Because he can steal from us whenever he wants. I've been under the assumption that he's been stealing from us the whole time. Why would he tell you? Was it Marie? <sighs> no, it wasn't Marie. What's going on? We were robbed last night, and whoever did it had a key. Yeah, there's a thief in our midst. What? No, it wasn't me. Oh my gosh. No, it wasn't me. Sean, if you did it... I didn't steal from Matt. Are you people crazy? Yeah, Why am I on trial? Sean, I was never going to fire you. What? Go ahead. I don't care. This, this is stupid. Sean, calm down, okay? We're just going through everybody one by one. We're not trying to single anybody out here, okay? If you did it, you should say something. What? What is it? Oh, that's not five thousand dollars, though. There's not more in there, is there? Look, I don't, I don't know who put this in there, all right? But I didn't steal the money. Someone's setting me up, all right? Oh, Someone did it. You. No, it fucking wasn't me. It was Fez. Fez planted okay. the money. I didn't do shit. Okay, it doesn't matter who did it. The important thing is that we've got the money now. It, okay, it doesn't matter. You're a dirty little thief. Just settle it. Just settle. God. Oh. That's it. Sean, you're demoted. You're no longer a nurse. What? I'm demoted? Olivia, you're, you're starting tomorrow, you're a nurse. Is this come with a raise? No. What? This is bullshit. Sean, you're going home for the day. Is, Get just, out of here. I Shut just... up! I just think maybe that we should... Shut! I, I can't fire Sean. He, uh... He knows too much about what we do. He knows too much about the practice. If he stole the money, if he didn't steal the money, it really doesn't matter. I can't let him go. Well, you remember how we took those tests last week, Nick? Mm -hmm. Uh Well, we got the blood work back and analyzed it, and we found something. It's, it's not Hodgkin's lymphoma. Oh, OK. Uh, what that is, is it's a cancer that spreads from your lymphatic system to the rest of your body. Mm -hmm. And there's a tumor that's sitting right around your lungs. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, the outlook is not great. Now, there are treatment options, and we're going to do everything we can do to go ahead and help you with this. Mm -hmm. I want you to uh, come back and see me. Maybe uh, today's Tuesday, so maybe Thursday you could come back. And if, if you have uh, some family members or a friend that wants to come, I would encourage that. Okay. Okay? Sure. Now, Nick, I want you to take as long as you need, process this, and, and when you're ready, 
We'll go talk to Olivia and see when we can get you back here, okay? Do I have to wait, or can I just can I just take off? Uh, well, y yeah, yeah. I mean, yes, yes, you can. Okay. So I uh, I have to talk to Olivia before we go. Yes, we need you back here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. After you. Nick Feeney is is proving to be a, a more complicated case than we uh, first imagined. Our process basically relies on the, the, the fact that, that patients will experience some sort of high when they find out that they've been cured. Nick, uh, well, Nick doesn't care. He didn't care when he found out he was dying. He's not gonna care if he finds out he's cured. So basically what we have to do is we have to, we have to bring Nick up, you know, give him something to live for. Uh, or we'll have to bring him even further down something like uh, a surgery. Like if we made him think he underwent surgery, maybe that would stick and really get to him. Either way, we need to find out more about him. What? No, no, Fez is not dangerous. He's, he gets a little heated sometimes. Sometimes people get a little annoyed with him, but he's not dangerous. He's not a, he's, it doesn't cause problems. He's fine. Hi, Nathan? Hi, yeah. Hi, I'm Fez. I'm going to be uh, your nurse today, and uh, let's see, Nathan Myers, right? Yep. All right. Well, uh, Nathan, why don't you tell me why you are at the doctor's today? Well, I uh, hurt my back last week, and uh, it just hasn't really stopped hurting, so I thought, you know, come get it checked out. Oh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's a good thing you uh, came to the doctor for your back. Um... Well, what's going to happen now is I'm going to take some vitals and then we'll get started. So if you could just uh, give me your arm oh. real quick and we'll get started. Well, one more thing. I, I, uh, I actually also am going to need a refill on my nasal spray. I, I ran out last week. Okay. Nasal spray. Yeah. Apogees have been bad, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Have they been bad? Okay. I, I didn't know. I, uh, let me just uh, write that down because you, you didn't tell us that before. It'll be uh, back injury and nasal spray. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Was that a problem? Is it a problem? No. But, uh, you know, usually people tell us why they're coming. They don't just, like, say, oh, I'm, I'll be there, you know. Okay, I, I, sorry. I thought it would just be an easy thing. Like, it would be easy on my thing. file. Yeah. Oh, in your file. In this yeah. file? Because you know a lot about what's in here because uh, cause our highly confidential files, you know a lot about them because uh, you're a real smart guy or something. Oh, do, do you work here? No. No, you don't work here. Oh, I thought maybe you did. Mm, but you don't. That makes sense. <clears throat> yeah, no, yeah. we'll be able to help you. You know, can I just talk to the doctor? I'm starting to feel really. Oh, you want to talk to the doctor? Yeah, mm. I'm feeling really uncomfortable um, in this are situation. You, uh, about your back? No, no. You're because of me. Yeah. Oh. You're being really aggressive. Okay. And I just. Am I being really I, aggressive? Yeah. You want to talk to the doctor? Yeah, please. Yeah. Can I? Please, okay. I. Yeah. Sorry, but can oh, I? I okay. just need to talk to the doctor. Maybe you guys could talk about. Lexapro. Whoa, seriously? 20 don't, milligrams. Don't since read my personal file, man. Six? Don't go through that. What is wrong with you? I get sad sometimes. It, everybody I get sad gets sad sometimes. Come Everyone on. gets sad. Come on. Really? 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 You know what? Really? I'm sorry. I'm just a nurse. I'm just like a, a nurse. But uh, maybe you could help me with this one. It's a, uh, hmm. I mean, it's a uh, stool softener. What does that do? Dude, come huh? on. <laughs> Uh, hey little guy, how's it, how's it going? Who am I taking back next? Huh? Uh, I'm sorry, excuse me, secretary. Uh, who do I take back next? Shut the hell up, man. Oh, I've hit a nerve. I'm sorry, uh, you wouldn't really know this, but us nurses don't really deal with this, like, Who do you think you're taking back? He's the only one in the waiting room. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Sometimes with your uh, with your with your subordinates, you really gotta put your foot down. Just kind of show them that that you're better than them and that you're more important. Did you, did you see that? Yeah, I could I could call the police. Okay. okay. What is going on here? He he he's attacking me again. He I just, I know what you did. Just go take Mr. Glenn Phillips back, please. Just leave him alone. This is not the end. Okay, also, if you're not putting them in the computer, then we are not gonna know how many appointments we have and who to assign to them, and also we can't keep track of how many people we're seeing in a day if we don't know. I mean, where are you going? I'm going home. Now? Yes, I'm done I here. I you. I don't care. Hey, where's Sean? 
He left. Is he coming back? I don't think so. Well, thank you for taking over. Yeah. We're here. No. No, this is not my house. Actually, we're not even close to my house. This is the home of Nick Feeney. Wait, so, so you're not giving me a ride home? What? When, when you said you were giving me a ride home, I thought that meant to my house. No. Well, F well Fez, what do you, what do you expect awesome. me to do? This is the home of Nick Feeney, currently the most dangerous man in the world. Do, do you even have any idea what that means? Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah? If we don't help him, he will kill himself, and that will be on your hands. Do you, do you want that? You tricked me. You, you tricked me. You led me to believe one thing. And then I believe you, Fez. Okay, first of all, I didn't say I was giving you a ride home. I said, Austin, do you want a ride? Okay? That's such a trick. Spiders. Oh, shit. Write it, can you write it down? What about the spiders? Just, would you just take notes? Yep. So, got one of these. Uh, looks like this would go with a boat or something. See, I don't know, this could be his or this could be anyone else's. You could be planning to chug. Well, that looks like chug that chlorine or something. Very few lizards. I haven't been seeing very many lizards since we got here. Could be. He could, could be, be hunting them, them or yeah. something. Yeah, could Can have you? A cat, yeah, maybe. just maybe uh, has a cat. Is he just eating saltines? Man, this guy sucks. Oh, it's... Oh, it shows us. Wait, you mean Seinfeld? What's Seinfeld? Are you kidding? Dude, this is like one of the most popular <laughs> TV shows ever. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> Who's this guy? It's, it's Kramer. says you either, you either need to provide me with a meal now or I need to go. Austin, would you shut up? It's, this could be over any minute. We're not going to leave. Dude, look, he's got, he's got every season on DVD. Dude, this could, last, this could last days. How many seasons are there? Dude, there's like nine. Wow. Man. I still can't believe you. <laughs> oh, who's this? They, like, they have some sort of a... Uh, they don't like each other, these two guys? Yeah, it's, it's Newman and Jerry. Newman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, man, he turned it off. Finally, Jesus Christ. Oh, I think, I think he's leaving. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Write it. What do you? You gotta take notes. Write what? What do you want me to do? Write it. Just why did you? Why did you bring this? Huh? What do you want to write? Oh shit! Jesus. Right there. Right there. Shh. What are you doing? So what are you getting up to now? I'm uh. I go to bed. My name is Brandon, and, and you are? What's your name? Luke. Luke! Hi, nice to meet you. I am Brandon. We're, we're actually filmmakers, and... Austin! Austin! Get over here! What the hell? 
Hi, this is Austin. He's gonna be just taking some notes. But uh, you're Luke. We're doing a video for the for the complex for the complex here. So you look like a nurse. Yeah, uh, that's uh, that's for a different part of the video. But uh, so so what made you move in here, huh? Well, I found it on Craigslist and it was affordable. And uh, and and your neighbors. I saw you talking to somebody. Who who is that? That's Nick. Nick. Oh, okay. Wow. That's that's crazy. What's he like? He's all right. What are his hobbies? Things he likes to do? I don't know. That's just me. quiet. He's a good neighbor. Oh, so you guys do a lot of stuff like go bowling and uh, play uh, Monopoly, stuff like that. What? Golf, maybe. You know. You guys swimming? I'm done with this. I don't know. Okay. Uh, thank you. How'd it go? How'd it go? Okay, have you ever heard of this guy, Kramer? Who's that? Oh, okay. He's like the neighbor, he's like the friend neighbor. I don't know how to explain. Uh, Nick's neighbor? Nick? No. What are you? Are you talking about Seinfeld? You know about Seinfeld? Yes, I know about, okay. Oh. All right, so you didn't talk to anybody, you just watched Seinfeld all day? No, 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 we, uh, we talked to Nick's neighbor. His neighbor's name is Kramer. What? No. Who did you talk to? Luke. All right, what did Luke say? He said everything. You know, we cracked him open. He uh, told us about Nick, told us about the things he likes to do, things that make him right. happy. Everything. Okay, well that's good because we need, what you need to do today is, is, is try to find a way to bring him up. You know, give him something to live okay. for. Cheer, Cheer him up. Okay. Yes. Um, I got it. All right, because that's, if he comes in as depressed as he has been, we're, we're going to have to schedule the surgery, so. No, we're not even going to have to do that because I'm not going to let you down. Good. Never all right, this is all you're doing today. Take the day off, just do this. Got it. I should go now? If that suits you. What's that? That's, that's just, just a, a, that's just a sec. Just, that means, sure, yes. Okay. If this was a year, a year and a half ago, uh, yeah, I'd be very worried about sending Fez out alone. Uh, the stress might get to him. It might start affecting his, his thinking, his rationale. Uh, but that's the thing, he's better now. Uh, and he's better because of this practice. When we took Fez in, he was a scared, stupid, o oblivious kid. And we've seen so much improvement in him. And we, we've seen differences in so many people. Uh, you know, people might ask if, if I regret any of the decisions I've made here. The answer would be no. When I, when I see the difference we've made in people, I know we're doing something good here. Oh, wow. What do you do with 15 rooms, though? I don't get it. It's like... Wait, it has 15 rooms? Hey, Olivia, I got you a non-fat latte. Oh, wow, thanks, Austin. It's nice yeah. of you. Where's mine? Thanks. Oh, I didn't... He just didn't likes me better. Aww. <laughs> hey, so, uh, is Richie gonna get mad? What? So, is, is, is Richie gonna get mad that I'm buying you stuff now? Oh, yeah, What whatever happened to Richie anyways? I haven't seen him, um... Yeah, Richie and I, we're not really seeing each other anymore. Oh, how come? I mean, we never really were, like, seeing each other. The only reason you guys saw him was because I needed a ride home. So. Guy's a loser. Oh, he had really big muscles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, big muscles, but, you know, pea-sized brain. Giving uh, Nick Feeney a call real quick. Here you go. Better pick up. <laughs> Nick? Nick Feeney? Who is this? It's me, your son. What? Dad, it's me. Who is this? Why the fuck are you doing this? Dad, this? please don't do this. Don't be like this, Dad. Okay, you're my son, then how old are you? How old are you? 26. I'm 8. Okay, you're 8, then who's your mom? You, you remember mom, you, uh, you guys had sex on my birthday? Did you leave a dog in my house? Is this you? Dad? You, you don't wanna... Did you, did, you leave, did you leave a dog in my fucking house? Who is this? Hey, you go, man. Good to see you. No, it's not gonna happen. Tried everything. 
Okay. Hey, Matt. What? Enough, Matt. I don't really have time for this right now. I need you to process this purchase order and get this equipment shipped here as fast as possible, okay? What? what it's, is it? it's surgery equipment, okay? You can't... You can't do this. You're not a doctor, Tom. Matt, I'm not gonna have this conversation right now. Get the surgery equipment as soon as possible. Thanks, Matt. Everything's gonna be all right. Really, pretty much what um, we need. So Matt is gone and so is all of his stuff. What? It's gone, he's gone, Matt's gone. What do you, I he's can't, gone. I can't. What do you mean, he just left? Yeah, he must have. Tom, Amy's ready in patient room one. Okay, I can't deal with this, Fez, we need the, yeah, the yeah, surgery I'll, equipment. You know what, I'll take care of it. I'll, I'll, I'll take care okay. of it. Okay. Morning, Nick. How are we today? Mm-hmm. What was that? I'm fine. Not gonna ask me how I'm doing? I thought it was like a doctor patient thing that you. Nick, I'm kidding. It was just a joke. Oh. Okay? Mm hmm. And you're not fine, by the way. You have cancer. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um, basically, the reason we're bringing you back in today, we sent out the results to get a second opinion, and it looks like we're gonna go ahead and have to schedule surgery. Now, this is obviously going to be invasive surgery. Uh, there, there are a lot of risks. It's dangerous. We're going to cut you down the chest and open you up and, and get the cancer out. All right. Okay, so we're going to have to send you home with some pamphlets, some information for you to read so you can be prepared for the surgery so that it goes the right way. And uh, then we'll get you up with Olivia and see when we can get you back. Maybe uh, in the next two weeks. I'm not. I'm not doing anything now. If you just want to do it now. No. Nick, no. Oh. Nick, this is major surgery. Yeah. We need to prep. We, you need to prep for this. Uh huh. Yeah. The uh, the attitude that Nick has going into the situation is is not ideal. Uh, he refuses to accept the fact that he's dying and what that means for him. He's just so depressed that we're just going to go ahead and, and, and go through the surgery. You know, maybe that'll, that'll get to him. Um, you know, I'm not a real doctor, but I do have real knives and I do have real anesthesia. And if, if we have to make it look like he went through surgery to, to, to make this work, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, and, you know, so that sucked. And middle school, my mom tells me I can't get braces. Says the orthodontist said I don't need them. What the hell does he know? They're my teeth. And so I would get paper clips. I'd go over here and look at the gums, the bottom, top. Hi, Nick. Hello. I'm here for uh, surgery. Yeah. Uh, can you please go get this for me? You can sign in if you want. Nah. Feel good? Oh yeah. Nick's all set up in room one. We're good to go. Why is he set up in room one? We're doing the surgery in room two. I know. What I thought was, we'll set him up in all room right, one. Tell me it, but just don't do it with a smug. Just yeah. tell me what you did. Okay. I thought we'd wheel him in. You know how you do that? Like we set it up this wheel surge. Him? Yeah. Like you prep in one room and then you get wheeled in. Do they do that? I thought it would be I think they do that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. But uh, we don't have a choice, really have a choice now, right, but right. shouldn't you be wearing scrubs? Oh, shit. Surgery. You know? Yeah. Do you have any extra? Extra scrubs? Yeah, did you bring any, did you, do you like keep some in the? What do you, no. Extra scrubs? Like extra clothes? What? No. Yeah, do you have more of the? No. These are mine. So you've been two years and you've just been wearing yeah, these yeah. scrubs? 
Uh, do you clean? Never mind. Um, nothing. D- just for, for yeah, fun, yeah. forget about it. Do you know how to work all this stuff? Oh yeah, absolutely. You're yeah. talking about surgery, COVID? Yeah. How are you today, Nick? Good. 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 Do you know how long it's gonna take? Cause I only took a half day. What? Off of work. I just took a half day off work. Nick, this is major surgery. Yeah. You're not going to work today. Okay. Nick, um, how's it going, guys? Are you ready, Nick? Okay. Fez is going gonna, is gonna to get you ready. I'm going to go ahead and finish prep. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll see you in there. Yeah. All right, Nick, let's just get you in this chair. All right, we'll get you all prepped and uh, get that cancer right out of you. Okay. All right. Let's see. Actually, can you do me a favor and hold this door? All right, thank you. Oh, all right, this is... Uh, this is our high school volunteer, Austin. He's gonna be actually helping out with the surgery today. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay, uh, we're actually gonna secure this up. Set this up for you. Austin, you wanna uh, get this on his face? Okay. Right, yeah, just strap I'm that just, on. I'm gonna put this on your head. All right. All right, I'm gonna turn this on and you'll be out in 10 seconds, ready? Right. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Okay, let's just. That should be good. Ten, nine, eight. Oh, Jesus. Well, all right. You gotta give him a touch or something. Hey, he's right. out. Let's take him in. Austin, awesome. you take that. All right. Careful with that. Is he out? Yeah. He went out really fast. Perfect. Okay, she's so leaving here. No, no, we'll put him on the bed. His okay. neck he can't have his neck just. That's not safe. Um, okay, let's turn. Yeah, let's turn. Get him closer. Up. Yeah, like his back. Okay, well that's good. Oh shit. Okay, you got that? Yeah. Austin, don't let this. Okay. Yeah, make sure you get that. Yeah. I'll turn. 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 <coughs> Yep, that's oh, good. smells like pee. He's hairy. <sighs> okay. All right, make sure get that closer. All right, let's see. Stick. I think he's good like that. So how long do we have? Oh, just until I start <coughs> turning turn it down. At least twelve hours. That's fantastic. Yeah. That is good. Yes. Yeah, so we'll just. Leave. Um. You got like lunch. 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 Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Let's go. All right. All right. Oh. Yeah, huh? Let's let's hang out, have some a uh, little bit of guy chat, and just just no. talk it up. No, this isn't the restaurant. Awesome. We'll go to the restaurant in a bit. I wanted to have some some guy talk, you know. So, Olivia's not coming. We'll meet the girls there. Okay. We, I just wanted to to hang out, rap a little bit, talk about uh, talk about cool new things, talk about. Awesome. You should have gotten the uh, croissant. You really oh, should have. Well, got... I wanted the bagel. So. Bagels are. Bagels, you know, that's yeah. about it. Uh, croissants, though. Well, croissants I, are I great. I didn't want the croissant, so. Awesome, but the croissants here are so good. They make the best croissants in town. Tom, I just said I didn't want the croissant. I wanted the bagel. But these croissants, they're, they're something else. They're, they're flaky, they're crispy, they're Tom, buttery. Tom, I don't like croissants. You like the right. croissants. Okay. Awesome, come here. Come here. Let's just, you know, he doesn't. He awesome, does, come here. He doesn't like a croissant. Awesome, you need to cool it. Hey, Fez, you need to cool it. Alright, jeez. Um, so what is let's guy talk. Let's talk about some uh let's talk about hot girls. Guy talk, that's like uh car talk? Cars, yeah, uh baseball hitting yeah. home run, you know, yeah, cool okay. new stuff, rock yeah. music. This you uh what, you, you you dating anybody yet? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, awesome. What about you? You must be must be out kissing girls, you know. Yeah. Having no. some fun. I don't do that, Tom. Because I'm a gentleman. 
Austin, you're young, you know, get get out there, you know. Get Maybe out few, there. Kiss a few girls. Kiss some girls. No, stop, I'm not a whore, okay? No, you're not a whore if you <laughs> kiss a girl or two. I mean, that's just life. Is it because you're a loser? <laughs> uh, nobody's a loser. You're a loser. loser. No, nobody's a loser. Yeah? You know? Okay. Oh, so you think I get to buy that bagel? Looks really good. Looks like a really good nah, bagel. Stop, stop on the Tom. Bagel on the ground. Okay, hey Damn. guys, guys, ground. stop. I, I will, I will buy you another one. I will buy you another one. Okay, let's okay. just. You're getting a croissant this time, I, though. No, I'm mm. not getting a croissant. Come on, is they're good. They're good. I'm not getting I'll get you the croissant. Thank you. Oh, that was yummy. No, full now. Yeah. So how are things shorty though? Oh. Um, <laughs> okay, no, I'm in the patient room. and I'm starting to actually think he's not even really trying. <laughs> really? You know you're like a really good father figure to Austin. Oh, okay. It's yeah. something you could maybe look into, you know, becoming his dad. No. Okay. I mean, I just think it's something you could probably think about. I'll think about it later. Right. Um, okay, so we'll make the incision very yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely do, do that then, first. And then uh, take it off and she'll wake up pretty soon, right? Yeah, and then he'll, he'll look like he had surgery. Okay. We're good. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, scalpel? Yeah, right there. What? Yeah. <sighs> what is that? that? What did you get that in a costume store? Uh, no, Home Depot. It's a, it's a flooring knife. <laughs> Why'd you get a flooring knife? I don't know. Have you seen it? He's not a floor. I know, but... Can I have another? Do you have anything else? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, got just uh, this little. Okay, thank you. Yeah, next time. Okay, start with this. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Should I put this down? I'll put it down. Okay. Yeah, it looks good. Um. Okay. It, is. Is. Is he, is he? Is he breathing? No. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, okay, no, no. It's just the, uh, we just have to take this off. It's, it's just, we just, okay, I think we just left it on too long. All right, no. Okay, so let's just give him a few seconds. Uh, okay, no, all right, let's go. All right, ready? Hey guys, what's going on? Oh my God. What, what? He's dead. Oh my God. Well, are we sure? Like, what do we do? We gotta do something. He's dead. Uh, right, we gotta get rid of the body, guys. We can't, Austin, we, we can't, can't just, just get rid of the we body. Of we the need body. to call the police right now. What are you we crazy? We're, we're, not, we're not calling anyone. Get, take your phone. Done. Tom. Tom, what are we gonna do? We need to do something. Hey, uh, Glenn Phillips is ready to go back. What's going on? Nick Feeney is dead. What? Tom, we need to do something. Uh, someone's here? Yeah, Glenn Phillips. Okay, I gotta, I gotta take care of this. Uh, Fez, handle it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh! I know. Well, 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 I'll take him to Ohio. What? We'll take Nick's dead body, load it into a car, take it to Ohio. Fez. No one even knows what you're saying right now. What does that even mean? They'll find the body. They'll think, oh, we're, we're in Ohio. This dead guy must also be from Ohio. Case closed. They're never even going to think of Florida. Who's going to drive to Ohio? I'll, I'll see if my roommates are busy. Papers signed. Oh, I can't do it. I can't do that right now. Tom, if I don't get these papers signed today, I won't get credit. I can't do that right now. <clears throat> Move it, film guy! Fucking sound idiot. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Olivia, I'm leaving. Are you coming with me? No. Shit.
system has been, you know, pay a little bit of a price and, and, and get a big payout. Um, Nick just paid, had to pay a little bit too high of a price. But we're going to keep, we're going to keep moving, we're going to keep going forward and, uh, you know, there's a lot more people to help out there. There's a lot of people that could, we could try to make happy. And I know I'll probably have to deal with the consequences of uh, my actions at some point, but it's, I, I've always, I've always known that. Okay, so it opens, right? And they're, they're all sitting in a theater. A Kramer, after a big win, Kramer told Richie Appel to dump a bucket of Gatorade on Marty Benson's head, which ended up killing him after he caught pneumonia. Oh, my, oh okay, and before this, they have a discussion about how the pianists, they warm up. He's like, whoa, you think they just cracked their knuckles? <laughs> oh, Where she meets John. 
an old friend of Jerry and Richie Appel's. He went crazy, got all messed up on drugs, had to go into rehab. No, he didn't. No, no, he didn't go into rehab. That's that's the end of the episode. Okay. Oh, hey, you got a card from, uh, Glenn Phillips. Oh, awesome. I'm gonna take Danielle back now. She's just here for a prescription. Okay. And, uh, Fez is back there with someone, too. Great, great. Danielle? Hi. Hi, I'm Marie. I'll be taking, oh my god, you have eyes like Katy Perry. Thank you. <laughs> I bet you hear that all the time. they really did dump the body, somebody would have found it by now. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, it's just a matter of time at this point. Yeah, I mean, we gotta start looking. Hey, where's Fez? Uh, he took a lunch. He, he took... Wanna, yeah. He hasn't taken a lunch in two years. I know, it's weird. Oh, maybe he's with a girl. No. No, that's it's not it. <laughs> hey! Where have you been? I was eating lunch food. Okay, okay, it's a big, big finale at, at Jerry's place, right? Intervention at Jerry's. Okay, and I'm telling you, man, everyone is there. Jerry is there, George is there, I am there, Kramer is there. All right, well just, in the future, let me know, yeah. okay? Yeah, no problem, sorry. Tom, we're gonna get paid for this week, right? Yeah, yeah, do not worry about it. I am taking care of payroll from now on, okay? Okay. Okay? Well, the whole thing with Tom, is that we're protected. Like, our information is protected. We're not at risk. Yeah, and we can really only stay here as long as it's safe, which is hopefully a little bit longer. Luke, hey, how's it going? So strong, it don't let you slip away. So I got a Cheeto, Cheeto fingers, I don't want to... Uh, you Fez? Yeah, yeah. This is your place, Fez? Yeah. How long you lived here? That's a couple days. Just moved in. A couple days, huh? Yeah. So you're a nurse? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a nurse. Mm -hmm. Where do you work at? Uh, doctor's office. Where'd you go to school? I oh, just uh, in the area, you know, lo lots of different... Yeah, right. Right yeah. in the area. Fez, you're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Whoa! For, for what? For the murder of Nick Feeney. Okay. Yeah. So that was really... Oh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Olivia. I'm gonna go prep the patient rooms. <sighs> Olivia, how, how busy are you today? Olivia. Guys, we're running low on blood. Uh, hey guys, so I'm in jail. Yeah, some guys came and took me to jail. They're saying something about murder. So they might be a little suspicious. Just be careful, guys, you know, because I, I think I'm arrested. 
I think that's what's happening. Uh, oh, this is Bez, by the way. Um. Okay. Uh. Just, just, just hold on. I'll be, I'll be back. I'll be back. I mean, what are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to just wait? I don't. I don't know. If they're, if they got Fez, then they're gonna come after. Oh my god. <sighs> Um, just, uh, take this and, uh, and oh split it between the two of you. you so just get out of here, okay? You, you can't just stay here, dude. What are you guys, doing? Guys, this is part of it. You, you guys just need to go. I'll, I'll be here, okay? And you guys need to get out of here. Come on, you can't stay here. Come on, just come with this, us. This is what this is. This is, I have to be here for this. Okay? I, I gotta take it, take the fall so you guys can be okay. So just, just on, go. Just... Well, uh... Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be all right. Uh, looking, I mean, we put about 60, 65 patients through our system, which is, that's a lot of lives. That's a lot of lives, lives changed right there. So that is good. Also, our, all of our staff is fine. You know, nobody's gonna face any charges for this. Fez, is, Fez was arrested for murder, uh, not malpractice. You should be arrested for murder. That is a good law. Yeah, I've known this was I, I've known this was coming for uh, a long time, and uh, you know I've always I've always said I, I'm more than willing to handle the uh, the consequences to to deal with those consequences. You know, I think a fresh start is going to be good. I think uh, I'm really excited. Uh, I'm gonna go north. I, I don't know. I'm just gonna go until uh, Vermont. I don't know. You know. This is gonna be great. This is gonna turn out great. So I'm moving to Chicago. I got into the Kendall School of Culinary Arts. It's actually one of the top culinary schools in the country, and um, they said that one of the reasons they accepted me was because of my blog. That was really cool. My blog took off. I'm really excited. Well, I'm almost a full-time nanny here now, and it's not bad. A lot less stress. I still talk to Olivia, and for some reason I feel like Fez is going to do really well in prison. I don't, maybe he needs the structure. Well, uh, I didn't get any credit for, uh, for volunteering, so now I have to go to summer school, which sucks. Uh, Mom was actually supposed to pick me up 30 minutes ago. She wasn't too happy about the whole credit thing, summer school. We actually had a fight last night about the remote, which is why she's not picking me up too. Why, why do I live in a student dorm? Uh, it's a good question. It's a good question, it's fair. Um, I live here because the parties here are off the chain. It's crazy, it gets crazy here on a Wednesday for no reason. Uh, we're close to campus. Um, I don't go to school, but we're, we are close. Uh, and the girls here, man, are just so much hotter than the ones back home. And, uh, you know, I got some cool bros for roommates. Uh, they think I'm the RA, uh, and, I, and I could be, but I'm not too sure about that.